Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell, like this video. That helps me to keep making videos and I'd appreciate it majorly. Saw the story first thing in the morning and definitely uh, got my attention about the state senator from Arkansas, Linda Collins Smith is her name, who was found killed on June 4th, you know, so uh, less than a week ago. And reportedly by, even though the authorities haven't necessarily confirmed this, it's just sort of leaked out from, I guess, neighbors and stuff she, from by a gunshot wound. And, and uh, the reports are that she was found wrapped up in some kind of blanket, I think, in her home, you know, with a gunshot wound on the 4th, June 4th. With uh, in and 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 uh, um, her condition, I think it says it's you know she was decomposed. So it must have been a um, several days that she had been there. Several, I would think. Well, no, because I'm sorry. The reports are that neighbors heard gunshot wounds a couple days before. So I didn't really, I didn't think it only took a couple days for that. NEA and and they've arrested somebody on her in connection to her mur murder. Her name is Rebecca. Lynn O'Donnell, and that's her picture there. She's a former campaign staffer for Linda Collins Smith, and um, and her friend. You know, according to you know some of the captions and the reporting here, I wasn't able to find her on Facebook, or actually, I was able to find you know Linda Collins Smith, but she doesn't have any friends and stuff like that. I'm sure her Facebook page has been cleaned up, and uh, if she ha if this woman had a Facebook page previously, it's probably been taken down. You know, uh, but she's been arrested in connection with the murder of of Linda Collins Smith, the state senator from from Arkansas. And um, I don't know what she was charged with, but I do think authorities have said charges will be for, you know will be coming. Whether there'll be murder charges, that would be my guess. You know, but I don't know. So um, again, but back to her her death and how a state spokesman will not confirm this report. Uh, um, NEA reports says, according sources, that former Republican State Sen Senator Linda Collins Smith of Pocahontas, Arkansas, has been found shot to death in her home. A state's police spokesman will not confirm this report. He says the state police is investing, investigating a death at a home near Pocahontas and that identification of the body has not been completed. The body has decomposed, which added to difficulties in identification, NEA, NEA reports uh, has posted a photo of a coroner's vehicle at, uh, at Colin Smith's home. The state police will not comment on the NEA report that the death appeared not to be a suicide. Ken Yang, who once campaigned for Colin Smith, told KATV that neighbors had heard gunshots a day or two before Colin Smith uh, was discovered today. Her body was reportedly found wrapped in some sort of blanket. Colin Smith, a former Democrat, was defeated for re-election in 2018. She was divorced from retired circuit judge Philip Smith in October of 2018. Okay, so just uh, less, a little less than a year ago, three quarters of a year ago, she was divorced. Um, so, you know, and um, well, I'm just making it was making me think that the fact that her body body was decomposed, the body that would to, to a degree that would make it difficult in her identification. I don't know. I mean, in t just in a couple of days, it, that almost leads me to believe that somebody put something on her to do that. You know, I guess. I don't know, though. Who knows? So, but this woman has been charged in connection with her death. And um, Rebecca Lynn O'Donnell, a former staffer, I think she worked on her most recent campaign where she lost, you know, um, Police have arrested an ex-campaign staffer of the Arkansas former state senator who was found dead outside of her home in early June. That's another thing. This says outside of her home. The other reports say inside her home. Authority, I mean, that, that seemed odd to me as well, to be wrapped in a blanket, probably in a fairly nice neighborhood outside of the home. That didn't make sense to me. I think that might be a, not a mistake. Anyways, let me continue. Authorities said Friday night they've arrested Rebecca Lynn O'Donnell, 48, of Pocahontas, Arkansas, in connection with the death of former state senator Linda Collins, 57. So here's uh, here's Pocahontas. It's in the uh, 
it's in the northeastern, uh, very northeastern portion of uh, the state. And um, did I just, I, I actually, you such a turkey, I closed that. Bear with me. Authorities said Friday night they've arrested Rebecca Lynn O'Donnell. Author Arkansas police said criminal charges were pending. It did not say whether they were seeking any other suspect in Collins' death. Authorities said Friday night they've arrested Rebecca Lynn O'Donnell. Collins, 57, who went by Colin Smith in the, le in the legislature, was found dead uh, June 4th outside her home in Pocahontas, about 135, 130 miles northeast of Little, Little Rock. Authorities have released few details about Collins' killings and have not said how or when the former lawmaker was killed. Her body was discovered wrapped in a blanket, according to the Arkansas Times. That's what I was reading from a second ago, and allegedly had a gunshot wound. Sources claim that Collins... Smith's body had started to decompose, which made it difficult to identify. I mean, maybe the reports of a hearing a few gunshots the day, a few days before, you know, from the neighbors is just an error, you know. Because um, I don't see how a body decomposes in that quick a time. But although active on social media, Collins' last tweet, uh, last tweet was posted in late May. So, I mean, but that's that's late May, but in, who knows who would have tweeted from her account. It could have been somebody else. Ken Yang, a former communications director for Collins, said that Collins' neighbors heard gunshots a day or two before her body was discovered around 7.15 p.m. on June 4th. So that's coming from Ken Yang, the, um, who actually made a statement. I think was fairly, fairly close to her. Here, here he is, you know, at um, some event. Um, commemorating her, you know, her life in, uh, at the state Senate. And he had a, uh, statement posted on his Facebook page, a press release this evening, our family received news. And this is from June 14th, just from last night, this evening, our family received news that an arrest was made in connection to the ongoing investigation. We are sickened and upset that someone so close to Linda would be involved in such a terrible, heartless crime. The family is confident that uh, the Randolph County Sheriff's Department and the Arkansas State Police will continue to work di diligent, diligently to bring justice to this case. We would like to thank everyone for the continued prayers and thoughts for our family during this difficult time. And um, so let me just kind of continue and wrap this up. You know what, I didn't, I hadn't even closed that. I was confusing it with the Facebook pages. Crazy. All right, so, um, I mean, that's pretty much everything that's known. I don't exactly know, I mean, other than being friends, what their relationship was beyond that. And I think that's probably going to be called into question. I think that's only logical. But, um, so, um, Back to her, her, her last tweet was posted in May. Ken Yang, a former communications director, a judge last week, granted a request by prosecutors to seal documents and statements obtained by police during the investigation. A state police spokesman declined to say where O'Donnell was being held. The Randolph County Jail referred questions to the sheriff, who did not immediately return a call seeking comments. State police said it did not know when O'Donnell would appear in court. I don't know why the extreme secrecy. Secrecy. What's the part? Why? You know, that is just kind of odd, I think. Yang said O'Donnell had worked on Collins' most recent campaign and that the two were friends. On Friday night, Yang posted a statement. I already read that regarding O'Donnell's arrest on Facebook, which read in part, etc. Collins served one term in the state's, uh, state house and was originally elected as a Democrat in 2010, but she switched parties and became a Republican in 2011, the year before the GOP won control of both chambers of the legislature. She was elected to the state Senate in 2014, was one of the most conservative lawmakers uh, in the majority GOP chamber. She lost re-election re in, um, in the Republican primary last, last year in 2018. She was once quoted as telling the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, you can't be pro-gun enough in Arkansas. She had an 80%, uh, 80, 87% 80, 
rating from the National Rifle Association for her position on gun rights. That's it, man. That's the story there. I wonder why the secrecy about, you know, about, I mean, I guess it's just the investigation. That could be standard um, about the uh, the suspect, um, O'Donnell, um, Rebecca Lynn O'Donnell. That's the story there. All right, though. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.